What's good, family? So today we're gonna talk about a few red flags that you need to identify before you investing in any company on the stock market. Red flags symbolize a reason for you not to be there or something you to place real close attention to. So today we're gonna dig into that and I wanna help you on your investing journey. It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. So before we get into this video, I want you to like, I want you to subscribe, and I want you to tell us in the comments how can we help you a little bit more on your investing journey. All right, so my number one red flag will be revenue decreasing. Now, even though all revenue does not equate to profits, a company should be able to grow its revenue at least by 10% every year. So that's what you call top line growth, right? So when you hear a company go up for earnings report and it says earnings beat, revenue beat, that revenue beat is them bringing money in. We want to see a company that can consistently increase revenue. So a company that has decrease in revenue consistently is a red flag. Number two is uh, increasing, increasing debt. So a company that is consistently increasing its debt and decreasing revenue, this is a double red flag. Why is that? Now we do know that companies increase their debt to build the business, but, watch this, but, if the company isn't profitable, revenue is decreasing, and debt is increasing, that is a double red flag for us. Unless they can tell us, yo, we are increasing this debt to build the business out. Now, if you're building that business out, you now need to tell us profitability. If we can't determine either of those, ah, ah, red flag. Number three, red flag. Div a den cut. So if a company cuts its dividend, eh, 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 that is 100% another red flag for us as a business, as investors, here's why. Let's say you invest in a company because that company pays a great dividend. Now, if they paying us a dividend and that's what made them attractive to you from the beginning with, if they cut the dividend, that tells us that something is wrong with the company. So be mindful of companies that are cutting their dividends. Now, on the backside, that dividend cut may help them pay down some things, but that should have been taken care of a long time ago. So a dividend cut, is definitely not a good sign. We definitely gonna go away with that. Watch this. Another sign of red flags is, watch this, CEO increase pay with stock bad performance. That is a, that is a, I'm gonna be real with you, that is a huge red flag for me. So if we keep seeing CEOs bump their pay, bump their pay, bump their pay, and the stock is not performing well, that is a sign of bad management. I remember in 2014, Coca-Cola CEOs were trying to increase their pay by, I wanna say something like 14 like million dollars around the board. Warren Buffett stepped in and said, hey, check this out. The stock is not performing well enough for us to reward you all for subpar returns on the stock. We can be using that, I'm like it was $14 billion and they were spreading it around. Buffett said, we can use this $14 billion in so many different ways with this company. We don't need to spread uh, pay raises inside of the C-suite. This won't do it. And Warren Buffett was so powerful with that, they came in, they did not get a pay raise. I think in 2015, 16, 17, 18, the stock did so much better because he forced them to use that money and put that inside the company. So that is 100% another red flag. I'm gonna give you another one right here, right? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna give you some more right here because these are things that I want you to pay attention to when you are looking at a company. We're gonna do this. Watch this. Reverse. So anytime a company does a reverse split, 
That is sign of a red flag. So a reverse split is, so let's say a company on the stock market does, like you saw NVIDIA do a 10 to one stock split. So that means for every one share you had, you got nine more. You saw Chipotle do a 50 to one stock split. That is giving more shares on the market, right? And making the stock more affordable. A reverse split does the opposite. A reverse split now takes shares off the market, right? And it increases the stock price. That is a sign of a bad company. Why? Because companies will do reverse splits to either keep themselves on the index. They're trying to do whatever is necessary for them to stay on that index, be it the NASDAQ, be it the Dow Jones, be it the S&P 500, wherever they at. So if you see a company do a reverse split, I'm going to be honest with you, it is sign for you to get out of there. Watch this. Another red flag. M-U-L-T-I-P-L, multiple CEO changes. If you see a company keep changing CEOs, that means something internally is wrong with the company. If you see companies keep changing CEOs, don't tell yourself, uh, well, I need to, no, 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 get out of there. Stay away from it. Something is internally wrong with that business. Let's go a little further. I, I got, I, I'm, on a, I'm on a hot street for y'all right now. You hear me? I'm on a hot street for y'all right now. Watch this. Do I want to go debt to equity? No, no, no. Ooh, I got one for you. You see a company with negative free cash flow. It's a red flag. Here's why. Free cash flow is what the company has left over after they pay all their bills. So a company with a negative free cash flow is telling us that this company don't got no money. How can a company grow? That means that's poor management. Poor ma management that can do what's necessary for the company, but not because oxygen, no matter what we talk about, oxygen, um, money, currency, capital is the oxygen of a company. A company with no negative free cash flow is a company that we need to stay away from. All right, let's go a little further. I'm gonna hit you with this one right here. And I want you to, I want you to take this one and I want you to say, damn, child, that was good. That was good. Watch this. If a company isn't profitable, listen to me well, profitable, and the CEO doesn't give us a, a profitability date. So one of the things a great company can do is as you get invested into these companies that are just starting, companies that are just IPOing, companies that are growing, a company can say, okay, we're not profitable right now, but here's our profitability date. Based on A, B, C, D, we think we'll be profitable here. And so if a company doesn't give you a date when they can be profitable, that is a red flag and that's telling us that management is just throwing stuff up against the wall and trying to figure it out and we don't want to be a part of that. So what I like to do is when I'm listening, when I'm investing in a company, I'm listening to, okay, they're not profitable right now because Amazon wasn't profitable for 20 years. All right, they're not profitable right now, but what's the profitability date? What is the date that you plan on being profitable? Every company that is not profitable will give you a profitability date if it has a good CEO. Write that down. What is the profitability date? So let's just go over it right quick so you don't miss nothing. So let's make sure we all on the same page. And I just wanted to give y'all some investing red flags. Right, as you're beginning, as you get in this game, you wanna see, like, what are some of the things I can look for out the gate to know that I'm messing with a good company? Let's talk about number one, revenue decreasing. Number two, increasing. Increasing debt. These two together? Whoo! Whoo! Double red flag, they toxic. They, them, two, them two together, they toxic, right? De revenue decreasing and increasing debt, that's toxic. Watch this, dividend cut. Oh, that's bad. CEO getting paid more and the company is not performing. That ain't good at all. That ain't good at all. Reverse split, anytime you see a company doing a reverse split, something ain't right. 
multiple CEO changes in a short period of time. If that ain't right, it's kind of like somebody dating multiple people. Like they keep being, you keep see somebody that keep being in a relationship, keep being in a relationship. Something ain't right with them, right? Why are you in all them relationships like that? Everybody's, <laughs> let's go. Negative free cash flow. That ain't good either. And lastly, we're gonna go with a non-profitability date. If they can't give us that, it's not a good company for us. Listen, we like to keep these videos short and sweet. We don't gotta keep you here for 40, 50 minutes, right? We want you to get the information and be able to apply as soon as we give it to you, man. It's your boy, The Wall Street Trap, but listen, tell us in the comments how you like this chat. Also, just know one thing and one thing for sure, that is not me in the chat asking you about Bitcoin. That's not me in the chat telling you about WhatsApp. And if you see my ads on Facebook or Instagram, make sure you look at the top and make sure it says Wall Street Trapper sponsored. They got all kind of people People snatching my stuff, making ads with them. I promise you that's not me. If you click the link and they go to WhatsApp or something, none of that is me. I know it's a lot, y'all, but I'm trying to protect y'all best as I can. People see we helping a lot of people and people trying to latch on to what we're doing and take advantage of people. And we don't want y'all to be taken advantage of. Most so, make sure you look at our show trapping Tuesday each and every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern on the Wall Street Looks Like Us Now Network. It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper. Salute, Wall Street Looks Like Us Now. I see you in the trap. <clears throat>